In this video, we're going to look at how to use KeyFast in real-life situations. So this watch face, for example, we're going to start with. So to start off, I'm going to uh, go ahead and add a rotation to a few things. Um, I think this whole watch should probably rotate as it comes on. So I'll do that. I will also rotate the little hands here that I have. So then those guys will also rotate. Uh, so let's go ahead and click this rotate button. And now if we hit play, we see that we have a rotation. We also have an overshoot in this animation, which you may or may not want. Um, I think I actually really like it for the hands, but maybe not for the watch itself. Uh, if you ever want to turn that off or turn it on, you can go to these settings here. And I currently have it checked on. By default, it'll actually be checked off. OK, so we have our nice little rotation here. I'll go ahead and lock my null. And now I want some things to scale on, probably some things to trim path on. So let's see here. Let's start with the little wristbands. And those are down here at the bottom. And I think I'll have those trim path on. So let's do that. And I think that most of these guys should probably, let's just scale them up here. And then give this a little trim path too. OK. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to animate these little swooshes. So that will require a trim path on. And that gives us this little animation. And then we can overlap that with a trim path off. And that gives us this animation. OK, so then we'll just overlap that with our little watch hands here. OK, something like that. OK, and finally, I'm going to go ahead and select everything. And we'll go ahead and just stagger it and see what we get. OK, so there's some nice things in here. Uh, there's some things that definitely need to be critiqued. So for one, uh, this rotation is a little bit slow here to start. So maybe just pull that back so it starts at the very beginning. And then maybe lengthen it out completely. So anyways, you can mess with this as much as you want and kind of critique it, critique it but uh, yeah, you can see how quickly we were able to get a first iteration of our stopwatch here. Okay, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at this abstract little triangle shape here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to select all of my shapes and I'm going to have them slide from the bottom. So do that. Uh, and now I can grab my nulls, which the shapes are parented to, and maybe add a rotation, perhaps. Um, and I'll just actually I'll just leave these ones as is. And then uh, we can have these guys, even we can have the nulls slide in some more. And then let's just grab everything and add a nice stagger to it and see what we get. Okay, and again, you can critique this as much as you want, but um, we have something to work with here. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this gives you guys some ideas on how you could use KeyFast in your workflow. Um, I find myself using it on, uh, I think, probably every project that I work on now. Uh, so that's it. Over the next videos, we will look into the details of how each button works and all the features in KeyFast. Hope you guys enjoy.